All right, guys, here we are for the end of 2022 recap video uh, on a cloudy day on the Coyote Creek bike path. I told you uh, I was gonna try to make this an annual thing and here we are actually for the third year. This northern half of the bike path is about three and a half miles, just over three and a half miles long. And the southern half starting all the way down in Seal Beach uh, is about 17 miles long. If anyone's been here since the start of the channel, you'll probably uh, recognize that this was the very first bike path that I shot, recorded, edited, and released as like a full feature length video. Uh, however, at the time I was just, I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to do any of that. I was basically learning as I went. Uh, I think I came out here like four days in a row trying to get the original bike shot correct. And yeah, it was, it was a real challenge. It wasn't even that great in the end. I had to, had to go back to the editing software and learn how to stabilize footage. And, uh, this bike path that time was the beginning of my journey on this channel. Uh, I just had an idea, came out here, started recording, and it's been about five plus years now of doing that, and the channel's expanded in different ways that I, I didn't expect for it to expand to. Um, it's been really cool to see the evolution of the channel going beyond just like uh, ride through shots of different trails and bike paths in the area. Uh, into something more like showing more of the creator behind the camera and, and putting myself in front of the camera a little more has been kind of a cool evolution that I'm becoming more and more comfortable with uh, every time I do it. Yeah, but this Coyote Creek bike path uh, begins in Buena Park and ends uh, about three and a half miles north in La Habra. The interesting thing about this bike path is that the southern section and the northern section both bounce back and forth between Orange County and LA. So right now, this this part of the bike path starts in Orange County. I'm gonna be weaving back and forth across the border of LA, ending in Orange County. So, I mean, as you ride this trail, you're not gonna be able to know the difference between the two counties, but it's kind of fun to be aware of that. Maybe one day, I don't know exactly how they would be able to achieve this, and I don't think there's any plans really in motion to make it happen, but it'd be really cool to see the southern and northern section of this bikeway actually connect with a class one bike path. At the moment, there's a, a handful of miles in between uh, the two sections. That gap in between, you just have to ride on side streets. So one day, it'd be amazing to see um, the gap closed. Uh, I just don't think there's any plans on the horizon for that, but so be it, you know, it's, it's still nice to have uh, this northern section in here in Buena Park uh, to ride on. Great for anybody that lives in the area. It's a very quiet bike path too. That's the other real benefit of this, this space. Okay guys, let's get into the video. Uh, I use this opportunity to just kind of walk with you just very candidly, uh, just camera in hand. Uh, I'm sorry if I just kind of ramble and talk, but what I like to do is or talk about the year that's been and talk about the plans for the following year. So this was, the year was 2022. Um, the channel has really evolved uh, and moved, has grown in a way that I'm, I've stayed consistently happy with. When I came to you guys this time, almost exactly last year, the channel was around 1400 uh, subscribers and I believe we've grown by about another 700. So we're up to about 2,100. We passed the 2,000 milestone. A year and a half ago, I wouldn't have thought that movement would be taking place. So I'm still very pleasantly surprised and, and looking forward to uh, seeing that growth continue. It's been very steady and that's what I'd like to see. Watch time and views have also been increasing a lot too. So. I appreciate that too. That's that's a really cool metric to see uh, continue growing. That means people have stuck around and watched more of the videos that I've released for longer periods of time instead of just clicking on and clicking off. That improves the chances that the algorithm of the YouTube algorithm is going to promote my content to new viewers and continue expanding the channel. As far as videos have gone, 
the pace of my channel and the uploads that I've put up has been a little bit slower than I anticipated. I was really hoping this year would be a, a year that I could really pump out a lot of content. But as life goes, there's a lot of things going on in my personal life. There's a lot of things going on uh, outside of my control. My main job has been keeping me really busy and a combination of all that sometimes doesn't allow for a lot of time for content creation. But that said, the videos I've been able to produce, I'm really, really happy about uh, being able to most recently head out to Lake Paris to film a vlog in Riverside County. Uh, that was <laughs> surprisingly, that was something I wanted to do in January of this year. Ended up getting out there in November. So it all worked out. That was a lot of fun to do. And I was finally able to compile the Kern County Top 5 video uh, that I had started at the beginning of the year and late 2021. Those videos, those top five countdown videos, in the editing process, they consume the most time for me. There are a lot of elements that have to go uh, hand in hand together to make those videos strong and polished from script writing to recording my voice to editing the audio and you know compiling all the footage and traveling production uh, finding time to just shoot the footage there's a lot of layers to that on top of just the editing so i was just really really happy to get that kern county top five video out i hope you guys enjoyed it okay <laughs> sorry if there's a lot of uh, noises going on around here the the homes across the other end of the of the coyote creek I've got some like landscaping happening. That's okay, we'll try to get past it. Okay, <laughs> I had to put the camera down for a second and get past that section of, of noise, the landscape that was going on. I am also walking alongside Beach Boulevard here in North Orange County. Uh, so that's probably a lot of noise coming from there as well. Uh, not much can be done about that though. <laughs> so we'll just continue on. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Yes, talking about the different videos that came out this year, and I hope you guys all enjoyed them. Uh, on top of the Lake Paris video uh, that I put out in the Kern County Top 5, I was able to put out about two different instructional videos that I really like doing. I know they don't generate a lot of buzz or views or anything, but for me personally, if I was a viewer, I'd be really happy to find the instructional part of this channel, which is uh, this year alone, I put out a rules and regulation video uh, for e-bikes, uh, primarily in San Diego. The rules I, I gathered were based uh, from San Diego law, but it really, in a very general way, applies to all of Southern California and beyond uh, within the state of California. So that's really interesting if you want to learn more about uh, cycling rules and regulations for e-bikes, uh, which I will note that is also an evolving thing. There aren't many laws set in stone about e-bike regulation because it's a fairly new thing. And this channel's goal is to inform people and the viewers as much as possible. As I learn things, I will pass that knowledge on to you guys. I also put out a video um, talking about uh, what to do in some of the rural parts of Southern California. The video was primarily based around cycling in the Inland Empire. Uh, seven ways to beat the heat uh, during the summer months because in parts of Southern California on a daily basis in the summertime temperatures can hit over 100 degrees. That's a real uh, concern when you're out in rural San Bernardino, for example, or Imperial County, or basically anywhere you go in Southern California, there are cities and areas of each county that can get really, really hot. There's a video out that will hopefully encourage people to explore more rural counties and, and areas uh, outside of their neighborhoods, which is central to the goal of this channel. Beyond that, I also was able to put together a couple of videos that were kind of fun for me to do about uh, interesting artwork uh, across uh, LA, Orange County, San Diego, 
uh, the artwork that is adjacent to a lot of the bike paths. So I have a, a two video series, artwork along our Southern California bikeways. Check that out, put the link above. Last year I told you I was going to restart my Instagram account and I did. Uh, I also said, I am really bad at social media. Um, and that continues to be the case. The Instagram account has been up for a full calendar year, which is great. Uh, and I have posted to it, but not in the way that I think I would like or I had envisioned. But at the same time too, I'm happy it's up. I think it is valuable. I've had a, about a dozen new followers on the Instagram account, which is cool. And it's, it's barely been promoted. So uh, even a small amount of new followers there is, is a neat thing. I, I like, I'm happy about that. And going into 23, I'll continue posting on the Instagram account. One thing I did wanna do that I kind of let myself down on was being more involved with the Instagram stories. I think throughout the year, I like posted two or three times to Instagram stories. So I'm gonna try to do that a lot more. I might come to you this time next year saying, wow, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get there again, but it's, it's a slow evolution, this channel. And all I wanna see is positive growth. So we're just, I'm just gonna keep doing my best, doing my thing, uh, focusing on content creation Social media will be secondary to that. One other good and bad thing that happened this year is my original drone that I had back in 2017 when I started the channel, my GoPro Karma crashed. It's actually the third time that I've crashed it. So uh, I ended up having to retire that drone. I had to, I had to trade it in and get a new drone. I ended up buying a, a DJI Mini. Uh, so that's been really a fun challenge and experience learning how to fly a new drone uh, it's so much more compact so i can carry it in a backpack during vlogs and it's actually so much easier for me to travel with so in a lot of ways i'm thankful that i i would say upgraded to this smaller drone because uh, the gopro karma was no longer being updated by gopro itself it was a little unstable which is what ultimately caused me to crash it and it was so bulky and heavy. It, it was a real challenge to fly. All that said, I've only had a couple opportunities to actually fly the drone. So next year's goals, make sure I break that drone out a lot more, get a lot of cool shots. It really adds a lot to the videos that I produce. So it's important that I use that more and more as I get more comfortable with it, of course. The last thing I want is to push a new drone too hard, too fast, and then crash it again, and then sign up for my third one. Um, but I think two drones, essentially, in the course of five going on six years is pretty good. Uh, okay, so I'm fast approaching Behringer Park right now. I might actually walk over to the park just to show you guys. It's a good spot just to rest and refuel, and then head back out to the, to the end of the path. So there's a good little bridge over here just to cross over the Coyote Creek Channel to enter Behringer Park. And I remember being on this bridge five and a half years ago, trying to fly my drone for the first time. Didn't even know how to launch the thing. <laughs> so I spent probably 45 minutes kind of standing right here, out of the way of everybody, and trying to figure out how to launch the drone. Uh, ultimately just ended up giving up. <laughs> I didn't know it at the time, I didn't quite realize it, but that was just the beginning of the learning process of becoming a YouTube content creator. All right, we've crossed over to the other side of the Coyote Creek, uh, and we're about to enter Behringer Park. Let's go check it out. Okay, Behringer Park. It's essentially just a couple baseball fields with some water fountains. You know, some bleachers to sit on in a, in a bathroom uh, spot over there uh, in the center of the park. And it has a lot of parking, so if you want to come check out the Coyote Creek uh, Trail, you can just park here at this park uh, for free. Um, it's a, almost a perfect, like, just a center marker for the trail. I wish the uh, skies were not quite so cloudy, but 
you know, you take what you can get. There's no reason to really spend any more time here. Let's head back to the bike trail. Yeah, I, I wanted to talk about uh, also the channel hitting 2,000 subscribers. For all the new people on the channel, thank you, thank you for helping the channel get to that level. That was really exciting the day that that hit about a month or so ago. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, let's continue that growth, you know? Let's try to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of 23. I like the sound of that. Uh, and here we go. So as soon as I get back on the, uh, the path itself, we're gonna continue walking north. I'm exiting the park right now. And I think now would be a good time to just kind of talk about the plans for, for next year, for 2023. Yeah, like I mentioned, I hope uh, 2023 brings a lot more growth. I do have a lot of things planned for the year. Um, we'll see how much I, I can achieve and get through. Uh, I am not taking a break right now. I've actually felt pretty good this year. Um, I always take like a break in November around this around this time. I end it around this time, but I've just been uh, behind the scenes filming a lot. Uh, I've been editing a lot. I've produced a number of YouTube shorts, a few of them already released on the channel. And I've got a lot of that stuff still planned for next year uh, to be released. Um, I've, I, wanna, I wanted to pivot from creating content uh, kind of on the outside of the core of Southern California. You know, I spent a lot of time in Kern County this year. I've been in San Bernardino and Riverside. And I think I want to focus my year next year primarily in Los Angeles. That was meant to happen this year, just didn't quite work out. There has been a void of videos um, not coming out of Los Angeles for a number of years now. Uh, so I think I'm going to focus a majority of my time and resources in Los Angeles, hopefully starting as early as January of next year. Uh, I have a lot of canvassing I want to do. I have a really good idea of um, how I want to compile a top 10 bike path video for LA, for the entire county of LA. Uh, and my goal, maybe by the summer or towards the fall of 23, would be to release a top 10 uh, LA county bike path video from my perspective, I think would really drive a lot of views to the channel. So I think it's important that I focus on that if I want to continue growing. Beyond that, I'm going to try to focus on filming more vlogs uh, on my bike, checking out new trails, uh, not just in LA, but maybe down in San Diego. Those videos also generally do pretty well. Okay, and outside of the scope of Los Angeles, uh, I am determined to finish the Mountains to Sea Bikeway. That six part video was something I started in 2018, I believe. I'm only on part three now. And I really, really need to get that together. I have all the trail footage filmed from the Newport Back Bay all the way to the Irvine Regional Park. I'm gonna really try to push that as one of the featured videos and elements of 2023. It's just a matter of finding the time and resources to <laughs> put towards that. It's gonna happen though, I promise. I just had to walk over the last street crossing uh, and this is the final leg of my, my walk here to the end of the trail. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was that this year I was actually able to attend the 2022 California Bicycle Summit. And that was extremely valuable to a for me to be able to go to that. It was essentially the first like group event of any kind that I had been to since the start of the pandemic era. And that was in itself really, really kind of an interesting experience being back out in public, uh, in groups again, crazy, crazy um, the past few years. Uh, but overall, the summit was also extremely informative. It, it happened to take place in Oakland. Uh, I have a video for it. I'll put the link above. And if you want to check that out, um, 
yeah, my experience in Oakland was really cool. I'd never been there before. And I got to ride a little bit in San Francisco, which I have been to before, but have never ridden around by bike. It really opened my eyes to the Bay Area and more so Central and Northern California. As far as this state goes, the state of California, there is so much to cover. Uh, I'm just focused on my little world of Southern California. Uh, that's about the limit of my resources. But hey, you know what? Maybe in the future, if the channel grows enough, uh, I could go out to Central and Northern California. I'd love to expand that way and cover the whole state eventually. It feels like a whole nother channel's worth of content. I can't imagine working a regular day job and managing two YouTube channels. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe in a couple years time, uh, I can expand out that way. That'd be really, really cool. Or I might be able to find little small ways to incorporate that into Trails of SoCal. That said too, with the Cow Bike Summit, I don't know if I'm gonna attend the next one, which I think is next year. Uh, it just requires a lot of time and resources from my end to even go. I wanna keep myself in primarily Los Angeles next year. So anything that takes me outside of that area, I might not be as willing to go forward with. And that's okay, that's okay. It's kind of fun when you look down at the water, sometimes you can see little ducks swimming together. A little bit of nature right here on the border of Orange County and LA. Okay, if you've stuck with me this whole video, I'm gonna wrap things up. Uh, I'm approaching the end of the bike path. Um, about a half mile ahead of me is the end uh, over in La Habra. Uh, this year was actually the fifth year anniversary of the channel. With hitting the milestone of 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to reissue the same giveaway that I did uh, for the Tosk five year anniversary pin. Uh, so back mid middle of the year, I released a handful of, full of these little pins right here. And uh, for the first three people that comment down below, Tosk five, if you just wanna include that anywhere in your comment, I will reach out to you and we can organize a way to send you a Tosk five year anniversary pen. Hopefully all that was informative uh, and helpful. Uh, and hopefully you guys are looking forward to what's gonna come out next year. I certainly am. I'm ready for the new year. I'm ready to, to get into it. I'm feeling really good about the channel, where it's at. And I just can't wait to continue making helpful videos for you guys uh, to help continue promoting cycling across our region. And this time next year, we'll see where the channel stands. Okay, now we're here at the tail end of the bike path and I'll sign off in just a second. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me here on the Coyote Creek Bikeway. And here comes my catchphrase, as always, ride on and ride safe.